Samma dude, same Samma here, and welcome back to the PBAL. I'm Sam, the coach of Vasily or Samrat, and this week we are fighting Sven... Svenfoon? Uh, I have no idea how to pronounce your name, I'm sorry, I'm bad with pronunciation. And the Uppsala Umbreons, uh, which I hope I'm also pronouncing right, because like I said, I'm bad at pronunciation. Um, so, we've lost two weeks in a row, so I'm hoping we can finally get our first win this week. Um, since I don't want to be on this big of a losing streak, you know, I, I do want to win a few games this season. Hopefully get to the playoffs, but I mean, it's still early days, you know. I'm, I'm hoping this this week's a week we make a comeback and start going on our victory streak. Because um, we do have Victini, and as the victory Pokemon, we cannot let it down by losing this much, you know. Uh, so, enemy team have... This is what I predict they're going to bring. Bubs, Bubswall, Buzzswall, Celebi, Heatran, Celesteela, Sharpedo, and uh, Garbodor. Um, I could also see them bringing... You know what? I kind of want to say get rid of a Celebi and put in Zygarde 10%. So that's what I'm going to do. But I would also wouldn't be surprised if I bring Celebi. Um... Since, the thing is, my team is very, I have quite a lot of fairies on my team. Um, by the way, they also have uh, Clefairy, uh, Drampa, Rot and Rotom. Um, oh, I'm missing one, aren't I? And Selby, yeah. Uh, but I already mentioned them. Um, but those are the other Pokemon I have on the team. Um, I have quite a big weakness to Steel and Poison types, I guess, because I've got Tapu Fini, which is weak to Poison. Um, and I've got Ninetales, which is weak to Poison. Um, Ninetales is quad weak to steel. Uh, steel types like Heatran and Celesteela, they get access to a lot of ground type moves, which is weak to quite a few of my mons with uh, Cabalion, uh, Torkoal, Victini, etc. Um, which is why I really think they're going to bring uh, Zygarde 10%. Like, the more I think about it, the more it makes sense. Um, so I've got to be very careful with my mons. Um, so let's just get, let's get, let's get on with the mons I'll choose and I'll explain on the way. So we have Tiki yet again, Choice Specs. Um, I don't always run Choice Specs, but I seem to run it a lot recently, just because whenever I build a team, I'm like, oh, Choice Specs. <laughs> um, they've got Earth Power, Dragon Pulse, Bug Buzz, and Flamethrower. So Bug Buzz is in case of a Celebi. Um, I was thinking Air Slash for the Buzz Swole. I kind of regret it not bringing Air Slash if they do bring, um, uh, don't bring Celebi, but I figured Bugs, uh, Bug Buzz is also good for Sharpedo. Um, and, uh, you know, Flamefire in the Sun is going to be really good against Buzzwall anyway, so it should be fine. Dragon Pulse is for the Zygarde 10%, um, and is for the Drampa. Uh, Earth Power is for the Garbodor and the Heatran. And Flamefire is for the Celesteela, the Buzzwall, um, and the Celebi. I mean, I guess we could go, uh, you know, it, we, it could go Bug Buzz mainly, but... Uh, flamethrower depending if uh, what like what the situation is. Bug Buzz usually on Celebi, but if I think they're gonna switch to Flamethrower, it'd be safe. Um, we also got Venezia, uh, it's Tapu Fini, which has got Surf, uh, Moonblast, Nature's Madness, and Rest. I really wish she had Recover, but she doesn't, unfortunately. Um, so I gave her a, Malumbe a Lumberry. Um, they don't have much of a move pool, to be honest. Um, Surf I gave them because it's more powerful than Scold, and they can't burn with ter the terrain anyway. Um, I gave him Moonblast, Stab Fairy type move, really good on Zygarde, Buzzswole, uh, Sharpedo, quite a few of us. Uh, Nature's Madness is good, if I think they're gonna switch into Garbodor or Celesteela, I can get half of the health HP down, uh, potentially, and then switch out, um, depending on what I think they're gonna do. Uh, which I think is a good strat, and if we run low on HP, we've got Rest, which is nice. Um, and the Lumbo to heal it up. Uh, of course, we have Suna, Life Orb in uh, this week, and I'm running special again because I figured it was a lot better of a set. Um, they have Glaciate for the Zygarde 10%. Um, I have uh, Scorching Sands for the Heatran, Searing Shot for the Buzzwall and the Celesteela, um, Thunderbolt for the Sharpedo. Scorching Sands also works in Garbodor, which is really nice. Um, Glaciate's good for Drampa too. Uh, the only Pokemon which I don't have anything super effective for is uh, Clefairy, which I don't think they're going to bring anyway. Um, and I think Rot does Rotom have Levitate? I know all the forms do, but I'm not sure about the main form. Um, if Rotom doesn't have Levitate... Oh, it does have Levitate. Okay, I don't, I don't really have anything for Rotom, but I think that's not too... Like, you know, we wouldn't stay in against Rotom because it's about Ghost anyway. Um, but yeah, we're going to bring Victini. Hoping for the best here. 
Uh, I didn't bring Thunder because I know it's stronger and, you know, Victina's um, Victory Star. But I think uh, the sun lowers Thunder's accuracy, so I didn't want to. I didn't want to fuck with that. So I was like, nope, Thunderbolt. Uh, we got some uh, Mokar Sunset. Uh, I did bring the heavy duty boots this time. Made sure to do that. Got Flamethrower, Rapid Spin, Earth, ba Earth Power, and Solar Beam. Because I figured if I predict a switch into Charpedo, um, and I can Solar Beam, that is really nice. I didn't know what other moves to put on it. Uh, Earth Power is for the Heatran um, and the Garbodor. Flamethrower is basically good on everything else. Um, it's not really the damage dealer, it's just a sunsetter. Um, but it can deal some decent damage too, you know? Uh, I mainly built it in defense and, um, I think, uh, defense and HP, I think, and then a bit in special attack. Oh my god, I'm so, I'm so happy I looked at that, because that says white smoke. I need to trade that in very quickly. Um, I need to remember to do that, because that is not drought. Oh my god, that is very, oh, I'm so glad I did this beforehand, otherwise I would be fucked. Does anyone else have... Fucked up abilities. No, everyone else is fine. Um, okay, that was almost a very big yikes. Um, we've got Envy, our, uh, our Sableye. Uh, has leftovers, has got Knock Off, Protect, re uh, Recover Will O Wisp. Pretty standard set. Uh, can't do much against the Heatran, unfortunately. Um, but it do be like that sometimes. It's just gonna have to knock off and, you know, recover, protect, stall it. I can't really burn damage because of Flash Fire. Um, so Heatran is the scariest Pokemon. If I can get rid of Heatran, I'm fine. I'm free to Willow, and uh, you know, just store with Envy, which is kind of nice. And finally, we got Kakashi. I got Volt Switch, Shadow Ball, Wish, Heal Bell. Um, yeah, Volt Switch is just a good pivot. I can Wish Volt Switch out. Um, the only Ground type they have is Zygarde, I believe. So as soon as Zygarde's down, I'm free to Volt Switch completely, which is really nice. Um, Kakashi is kind of just here as a cleric. Uh, I didn't know what item to put on, so I put Expert Belt, because, you know, Shadow Ball and Celebi would be nice. Uh, unfortunately, Kakashi doesn't get much move coverage, um, and Volt Switch is really nice and Cell Stealer, so I was like, yeah, that works. And, um, yeah, that is about it for the team builder, I think. I don't think I've got anything else to say. Um, I'm very scared for this match, because the team is very scary with Bubs. Like, like, look at the starting four Pokemon, and this is without Celebi. Buzzwall, Zygarde 10%. Heatran and Celesteela. Garbodor's an insane wall. Sharpedo's got a speed boost, which is insane. And Celebi I used last season, and I know how scary it can be. So I'm very, very scared against this team. I'm hoping we can manage to get a win. Um, the battle will go up tomorrow, since this, uh, this should be going up on Friday. So the battle will go up on Saturday. And yeah, hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you in the battle tomorrow, I guess, my dudes. Bye.